everyone. Welcome back to another exciting day in mathematics. Woo -woo. How's everybody doing? Good? Today's a mini day, so uh, let's get on it, please. Warm up number 39 is on the screen. I'll give you guys, what, three minutes by now? You should be able to finish that in three minutes. What do you think, Renzo? He said yes. All right, three minutes. Let's go. Renzo for Presidente. All right. Good for sharing. Let's see. Enrique, get us started. Eighteen times everything. Very good. And that gives us eighteen over two X plus thirty six over three equals ninety over eighteen. And that gives me what? And then? Divide by x equals negative 7 point, I mean, negative 7, 9. Hands if you got that. All right, good. All right, let's go to number two, factors. Tell you never what you got for those factors, and then Enrique is going to pass it to Mario to give us the factors. All right, Mario, x plus what and x plus what? x plus 2 and 16. Hands, have you got that? That is correct. Thank you. Go to number 3. For number 3, check with your neighbor, see what you did for that one first, and then the factors. Then Mario is going to pass it to Enrique. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, pass it to someone. Okay, Enrique. GCF for these two. Four, and that leaves us with x to the eighth minus nine. All right. So therefore, we need four, and then we need two more factors. So you know your two factors, guys, and then Enrique is going to enlighten us with that to make sure you got it correct, because, of course, he's got it correct. He saw that he can do a square root of this one and a square root of that one. Therefore, x to the fourth, x to the fourth, Plus 3 minus 3. Hands, if you got that? Let's go. That is correct. All right, let's go to number 4. For number 4, Enrique is going to pass it to Mario. Very good. So, we're going to need a y equals something something for that equation. But I'm going to have Mario walk us through the process just for the sake of, uh, of the process. So line down the equal sign. I need to be y by itself. So what do I do? Minus 4x to both sides. We end up with negative 2y equals negative 4x plus 6. And I still need to leave y by itself, so what do I do at the end? Negative 2. By negative 2 both sides. y equals uh, 4x divided by 2 is 2x minus, my goodness, Minus 3. All right. So now that we have our equation, we need a table. 
And of course, Mario's going to pass that too. Okay. And we got negative 2, 0, and 1. So negative 2 goes in here. 2 times negative 2 minus 3. Negative 7. Very good. 2 times 0. 2 times 1. Yep. But before he's going to pass it to? Woo! Let's go! All right, so let's graph this one. <laughs> I love teaching. Let's go! My goodness. All right, so what are my x values, everyone, from negative 2 all the way to what? To 1, but let's do from negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. How about my y values? From negative 7 out of the way to negative 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let me fix this. Let's go. All right, help me graph that. Mario, where do I write that? Down on the left? Ooh, okay, no hesitation. He's like, throw me a pass right there. Let's go. Next one, zero, right here, no. all right, <laughs> the last one, one, negative one, right. All right, and sketch your line. There you go. All right, hands if you got that. All right, and the last one. Wait, Enrique left, so Mario's going to pass it too. Geo. So we got figure one, figure two. Figure three, figure four, so what would be figure six, figure six, before he uh, Gio gives us that, tell your neighbor how many blocks do you need for figure six, how many blocks? <laughs> All right, how many blocks for figure six, Gio? 35. 35. And why do you say 35? Well, let's see. Let's double check. If this was 2 times 2, it would be 4, right? But isn't it missing 1? Yes. 3 times 3 is 9, missing 1, 8. 4 times 4 is 16, missing 1, that's 15. So what is 6 times 6? Missing 1? All right. Bonus question. What if I kept going and I said, give me the, how do I find the blocks in figure X? Yeah, of course, you're going to be subtracting one from all of them, yes. But what would you write for that? Geo, pass someone. Pass it to Jesus. Jesus, what would you write? X squared minus 1, let's see if it works. X squared minus 1. If this is X, since we don't know, X, X times X will give us whatever area, right? And then we need to subtract what? That one block. Would this work? Yes, that is correct. Ooh. All right. Copy the agenda, please. Uh, Warm-up number 39, Protestant Quotation of Rational Expressions. Tonight's home play, only four problems. And today's going to go super fast, like this. Watch. That was pretty quick, huh? You're know, like, what? Oh, yeah.
All right, we're good. Once again, warm-up number 39 done. Product of quotient and quotients of rational expressions. We already finished the multiplication part. Today we're moving on to division. And uh, tonight's home play for problems only. So, here we go. Copy the code. 47629 for tonight's home play. 47629. 47629. All right, so I'm going to... I'm going to attempt to finish this in 20 minutes, which we need to, because it's a mini day. We should be able to. Therefore, last night's home play, make sure you turn that in later on. I don't want to take your time right now. I left it open until 3.30, so you can get home and turn it in at home. Tonight's home play looks like this. Let's go, Mario. All right. Cornell notes, I can divide rational expressions. I can divide rational expressions. I can divide rational expressions. Are we still on the same concept? Yes, Mr. Q, rational expressions. And of course, you know the definition, yes? Yes, so if I was to ask Mariah for the definition, of course she knows the definition. But I'm not going to because we already know the definition, right? In your own words. So it's what? Fractions with what? Polynomials, numerator, and denominator. And it looks something like this, yes? All right. So we started with multiplication, yes? Now we're going to division. Writing utensils down, look up to the screen. Let me take you back in time. Here it goes. You all ready? If I gave you the fractions, two-thirds divided by, give me a number, four-fifths. All right, I'm going to take you back to elementary school. You were, I think, in second or third grade, and your teacher. Okay, kids, we're going to be dividing fractions. First fraction, keep. Sig the sign you change. And the second fraction, you what? Flip. You guys remember that process? And what do we end up with? With a multiplication. Do we know how to multiply fractions? Yes. But here's a question. Mr. Q, why do they do that? Why do we have to flip it? Because of this. The definition sta states that if you have a fraction, you cannot have fractions over fractions. You have to have integers. Integers. So check this out. Two thirds divided by four fifths is the same as two thirds divided by four fifths. Does everybody agree that this is this? Yes? But according to the definition, can we have a fraction over a fraction? No, they have to be integers. The question. What would be the smallest integer you can think of? Smallest. Everyone. One, yes? So check this out. So let's say I wanted to make this denominator into one. What can I multiply that by? Well, something we call the reciprocal, five over four. Because what is 4 times 5? 20. What is 5 times 4? 20. What is 20 over 20? 1. So whatever we multiply the denominator by, we need to multiply the numerator. So question, what is all this divided by this big 1? We end up with 2 thirds times 5 fourths. That's why we have to flip it, or in other words, reciprocal. We have to multiply times the reciprocal of the second. With that said, copy these steps down, please. Step one, multiply the first fraction times the reciprocal of the second. Step two, factor completely. Step three, multiply the numerators and denominators. Step four, simplify giant ones. So if you notice, steps two, three, and four, we already know how to do. So what, are, what is the only thing we're adding? It is step one. Copy that, please. So, once again, do you guys notice that steps two, three, and four is what we've been doing in the past two days? Is that correct? So what's the only thing that we added? 
step one. Just in case you don't see it, look up. This was multiplication. This was division. Multiplication, division, multiplication, division, da 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 All right, we get it, right? All right, copy this. Example one, 6x squared divided by 5x squared minus 20x divided by 9x over x minus 4. We're going to do this one together since we are experts by now. Okay. So, what does it say, Mr. Q? It says, step one, multiply the first fraction times the reciprocal of the second. So, rewrite the first fraction, 6x squared over 5x squared minus 20x. We change the division to multiplication. And the reciprocal of the second is what? X minus 4 over 9X. And if you don't see it, look up. Make a little diagram here that you're flipping this. So like that you can write it there. A little roadmap for yourself. All mm right. -hmm. So step one, done. Do you know how to do the rest? Yes, of course. So, Gio, help me out. Factor completely. How can I factor 6x squared? Tell me what you're right. Two numbers that multiply, give me 6. 2 times 3 and x times x, yes? The bottom one is a binomial, which means we're going to look for the GCF first. What's our GCF? Geo. 5. What else? Oh, X. X, that is correct. So that leaves us with 1X minus 20 divided by 5 is 4. Times X minus 4, can we factor that anymore, guys? No, so we leave it as X minus 4 in parentheses. How about the 9, Gio? Three times three and times x. That is correct. Step two done. Let's multiply. All right. Pass the one to you. Caitlin, tell me what to write. Numerator. Two times three. X and x. X minus 4, yes. How about the denominator? Three times three times Bam. All right, and lastly, any giant ones, guys? Caitlin, pass the one. Ashlyn, giant ones. Three. X. The other X. Answer, everyone. Two over 15. Ooh. From one to five, I come to you with division. They're like, Mr. Q is a piece of cake. Tell your neighbor what's the only thing to remember for division, please. Talk to your neighbor. What's the only thing to remember? All right, what's the only thing to remember, Ulisa? The what? Yeah, to flip the second fraction and change it to multiplication. All right. However, excluded value. Thank you for reminding me, Julissa. Appreciate it. So, remember, we need to write them in factored form, yes? So what would I write? Not the last one, but the original denominators, yes? So, 
what would I write? 5x equal to 0. What else? x minus 4 equal to 0. What else? 3 equal to 0. 3 equal to 0. x equal to 0. Now check this out. Look up, guys. Look up, look up. So I wrote all of these, right? But what was it before it was multiplication? So what was my original, original denominator? This one, but since I already have it here, I don't need to rewrite it. But don't forget, when you're doing excluded values, do the ones in multiplication, but then go to the original one and get the denominator of the original division. Everybody with me? All right. So divide by 5, divide by 5, x equals to 0, plus 4, plus 4, x equals 4. This is not true. Cancel that, cancel that, and x is equal to 0. We already have it over here. So my excluded values are 0 and 4. Yes? All right. Very good. Good copious notes for all of you. So with that said, send me your notes. I want to see that you are actually taking notes. Not that I don't trust you, but, you know. Uh, there it is. I just sent you the screen. All right. While people are sending that in, let's go to a funner one. How about that? Copy this one. Example two. X squared plus 9X plus 14 divided by X squared plus X minus 2 divided by X plus 7 squared over X squared. Uh, the code. Seven S H three D. Seven S H three D. All right, there's the problem on your screen. Let me send you the screen as soon as you're done so you can send it in. However, Ulysses gonna pass this one to someone so we can get started. All right, Julissa, pass them one. Joseph, Joseph, let's go. What is step one, Joseph? Okay, so multiply the first fraction, so x squared plus 9x plus 14 over x squared plus x minus 2, and you said change that to multiplication, and then? And what, it, oh, so write the reciprocal. So x squared over x plus 7 squared, or in other words, like you guys say, flip the second fraction. Okay. All right. Now I need factors. So, what are the factors for the numerator and the factors for the denominator for the first fraction? Tell your neighbor, and then Joseph's going to pass it to someone. And then we're going to need factors for the second fraction. Let's go. Pass him. Mario, let's go. All right, how do we factor this? We got 14 and 9. What two numbers multiply to give me 14? Then when you add them, give us 9. 
2 and 7. So my factors are x plus 2, x plus 7. Bless you. The second one, did, 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 negative 2, positive 1. What two numbers multiply give me negative 2? When you add them, give us positive 1. 2 and negative 1. So my factors are x plus 2, x minus 1. All right, pass it to someone for the second fraction. Top one. What I write? X times X. Now, now before you give me this, the denominator, let me show you something. When we have X squared, that means this X twice, right? So now we have this to the second power. What do I write? X plus 7 twice. All right. Not bad, not bad. Joseph, not bad. All right, Joseph, pass it to uh, Enrique. I mean, pass it to someone. <laughs> All right. So multiply. Tell me what to write, Mario. And then? Mm hmm Yes. How about the denominator? The same thing as the whole thing. X plus 2, X minus 1, X plus 7, X plus 7. Mario, do you see any giant ones? What are they? So what do I have in the numerator? Which is? And then the denominator we have x minus 1, x plus 7. Let's go. All right. So excluded value. Hmm. So this is here. This is here. Okay. So I write what? x plus 2 equal to 0. x minus 1 equal to 0. X plus 7 equals to 0. Do I need to write it twice? No, Mr. Q, it's already there. However, what else do I write equal to 0? Tell your neighbor. Everyone, what else do I write equal to 0? Then we're going to pass it to Donna. I mean, Dana, sorry. Dana, what else do we write equal to 0? X squared, that is correct, which is over here the original denominator of that second fraction. So minus 2 minus 2, X equals negative 2, plus 1 plus 1, X equals 1, minus 7 minus 7, X equals negative 7, and then this one square root square root, X equals 0. My excluded values are negative 2, 1, negative 7, and 0. Send me your notes, please. Do we have time for one more? I'll let uh, Enrique decide. What do you think, Enrique? He said yes. What? <laughs> no, what's up right there? <laughs> Enrique for Presidente. Let's go. Send that in, please. All right, before we go, from 1 to 5, how comfortable are you with division of uh, rational expressions? Yeah, 5, 5, 5, 4 is all right. We got this. Let's go. Once again, you have the code for the home plate tonight, and it looks like this. It's only four problems, so you should be able to finish that in no time. And if you have any questions, remember, contact Joseph. He's got this.